Loading the alert. Star preview. I uh, and the Schwani, we are playing another preview for a Kickstarter game. This time it's a influencer only preview. That means only for well people who uh, well for press or people who make uh, videos for it. videos or streams for it. for games even. I mean also posts maybe. But yeah, they're like vlogs and stuff like that. But yeah, so yeah, this is interesting. Alex, the producer, decided to send me a copy. Uh, since I me decided to send me a copy of Between the Stars, maybe at least, because he, uh, because he saw that I like similar similar space faring games like FDL and Roblox. Then indeed I do, and I've shown them a couple. On the, I've shown a couple. On the, I've shown a couple on the channel. So yeah, here we are showing this one. Now the Kickstarter. Almost uh, dropped my phone. Yeah, my tablet's Gmail's messed up. But uh, my phone's fine, thankfully. So the okay, the uh, December twelfth is when this is the uh, is when the Kickstarter is coming out. And this is the prologue. It's only one chapter. And this game also might be open. And this game looks. Look, it's gonna be open world when it releases, which is gonna be interesting. Oh yeah. Also live in this course, if you want to check it out, I'll link in the description too. And also hashtag between the stars. Yes. Uh, they wanted me they well, they want me to mention that, so yeah, that's so I gotta put it in the title out. I seen Inter Elysium do it. I have no idea how to do it on YouTube. Put the hashtag above the title. I'll, I'll figure it out. But yeah, so yeah. Alright, so anyway. Anyway, I would be remiss to say Discord anyway. Hashtag is if you would have. So they're not bothered for putting the title. But anyway. And it is nice for them to be able to communicate with uh, with everyone with uh, Discord and having a and storing a hashtag so everyone so everyone can share the hashtag and get the site for the game. Alright anyway, so that's fine. But it's just a preview for a Kickstarter. Ooh, it's a 3D space combat. Ooh, it's like elite. We're gonna find out. <coughs> it's a Kickstarter demo. Oh there, oh there it is. Choose your captain, James Scott or James Scott. I'm a dude, so I'm gonna choose James Scott. Loading dot dot. This is intriguing. I don't know what I'm getting myself into, but that's how the fun is, not it? And also, it's my first. Oh, whoops! In the mic, I'm so excited. It's also this is my first time playing a Kickstarter. 
Uh, this is my first time. No, no, I just, it's very rare for me to play or to get a basically get not exclusive because I mean there's only you and like five people. But now uh, I definitely get a preview before everyone can play before everyone can play uh, a demo, which is I really think the developers are singing it. Oh, hello. Alert. Systems damaged. Warp drive pressure increasing. Crew, boost warp drive to full power. All right. But captain. I said full power. That's an order. Redistributing power. Capacitors charging in four, three. Yeah, looks like there's Just a shadow. A bit more. Are we running for anyone? Here we go. We've made it. <gasps> it's 3D. <gasps> full. It is full 3D. It's a 3D big ship game. <gasps> damage analysis. Starting damage assessment protocol. Testing main engines. Scroll wheel to move up. Yeah, thank you. Figure that out. Okay, y'all with Q and E. Okay, it's a big ship 3D damage. game. Wow. Engines operational. Looks really Testing nice. Navigation systems. Okay. Still, general trends, which everyone understands, instead of uh, pitching y'all. No pitch rolling y'all. Navigation systems operational. Testing power systems. Up there. All right. Power distribution correct. It looks like our left. Er, well. Captain, Stop we're detecting warp signatures in, right. in the vicinity. We've been followed. Prepare for attack. Okay. How looks the behind you? That's good to know. Oh, that's wrong. Y'all part of the shields? Speed. Okay, we do got mobile shields, that's good. Okay, use the controls. They're different. Gotcha, it's like playing a Star Trek game, but in 3D. So, like playing Star Trek Bridge Group. Star Trek Bridge Group. Oh, it's so nice. Oh, that's a rock. To having to look backwards. It, it's a, it's probably a good system for controls. I'll figure it out. Yeah, it, it's a good system, so you can focus on going forward all times or going reverse. Okay, let's give our side shield some uh, a turn it, it, because we're running out of our front and rear. I really like the controls. I really like the controls. Let's say it could be difficult for uh, for. 3D piloting big ship games is the controls. Where in the world are you? Controls is usually the down point, like with uh, linking on the term, link on that, linking on that one series. Gotcha. Captain, reinforcements X. incoming. We X. need more firepower. X. All right. Okay, on the left. I got it. You gotta tap it. They go weapon shield. We don't need engines right now. The tech didn't take it out. Uh, take it out and take to take out enemy ships. All right, two. Okay, see ya. All right, two. A number key or no? Or, or number key or, D, or number pad. Got gotcha. oh double tap.
Oh, bomb shields is falling. Eh, oh, rear shields. I shouldn't have gone that way. Game in between. Game in between so we can focus so we can focus on our side shields. For a sex. I'll get used to the controls. Oh, this works. Oh, I love this game so much. Advanced, now we now we can use our front shields. Now I'm getting a bit, oh, slow down, slow down. Pressing W and S, like, like, like they're what I want. Okay, overheating. Let's do reverse. There we go. It'd be nice if things were more similar, or it'd be nice if things were, it'd be nice if there, if the shield indicator, if there was a smaller shield indicator around your reticle as well as throttle. That'd be amazing. Because it's kind of hard, it's kind of, it's, well, it's, it's hard to, it's hard to divert the, your eyes to the shield that's on the bottom okay. in the middle of combat. Good work, team. Is everyone all right? Captain, Indeed. I've determined this news will cause a decline in crew morale of 64.7%. But I must inform you that the enemy bypass our shields. Two casualties confirmed. Uh, let's destroy enemy ships can be looted in order to open uh, in order to obtain salvage in order to obtain salvage fly close to enemy fly close to a ship and put your cursor over it oh, there you go great point great point which indication the cellar position and place the crystal over it. We'll fire a the red dot in order to order salvage. Alright. Gotcha. Got it. Alright. Controls are really good. It's just it's going to take me a while to get, to, get used to them. That's reverse. Get a bit closer. Goes up. There we go. Gotcha. Yeah. Goes down. This is a really amazing, and this is really amazing third person, uh, or 3D I mean, it's third person, they're all third person, but some, big ship game, it's amazing, wow. Come on. I mean, it's supposed to be a bit challenging. It's something you can't really, something you can easily do in combat, or something you can't really do during combat, depending on your skill level. Having a throttle, having a throttle, where's throttle the movie? A throttle on the bomb, right? Okay, having throttle next to your reticle would be amazing, as well as shields. I mean, it's not that bad. I mean, Halo has a bit better, but Halo's on top of the screen. And there are countless classic shooters. There are countless shooters in which have your health bar in that position. It's not that bad. It's just I would like the shield around the reticle and uh, throttle around the reticle as well. And... And my... Oh, your weapon, your weapon chart is on the reticle. That's nice. It's the red bar. Good God. Well, this game's amazing. Mm, I w is this the best big ship game I've ever played? I would say... In terms of controls, it's better than Bridge Crew, but Bridge Crew is a simulator, and it's a realistic simulator, so it's not that... So it's not... And it's not that... Oh, that's my shield. Okay, there we go. Oh, that's cool. Oh, well, look at that physics. Oh, wow, that's cool. I wonder if I can use that in combat. Ram a ship, cause it to rotate to get its guns out of alignment, or to get to a point of the ship where I can easily shoot it, or I can easily penetrate shields, where shields are already gone. Interesting. Very nice. And definitely feels like everything is zero G. As well. Okay, controls. Oh, 
up, bunk, bunk, bunk. And maybe a cross, cross, and maybe a close proximity warning be good too. Get rid of, get rid of open inventory. Large cards are stored in a ship's hold, hold until they are open or stored in your stash or on a space station. Don't forget you have enough space to keep picking them up across the universe, alright? Large pod, main contain credits, minerals, blueprints, or weapons. They can be opened or stored at any station to be used in the future. They're public, well, strictly, public has tr strictly prohibited the, com the commercialization of salvage pods. Oh, that good, we won't have loot boxes. Very clever, too. Nice. So interesting, loot crates without monetization. Interesting. The loot crates are a really good way to monetize. Like for example, Battle, uh, like for example, EA was planning it with Star Wars Battlefront, you know, in order to make up for the fact that there's no, no more season pass. So yeah. And I just do cosmetics, which seem, seem to be working fine, as well as just sales of the, of the base game. But what I'm very curious about is how, how does a loot crate, which is random, work in presumably, actually, wait, hold on, get my, my phone back out, I believe they said co-op? I think I heard co-op. Uncommon? No oh, corpse. Felipe Curry. Fish was Felipe Curry, Sir Bellinly on the Genesis. Under the orders of Captain Scott, serve with dedication and devotion to the Minister Republic, will be remembered for his honor and pride. Corpse Frank Evans, Specialist Frank Evans, served brilliantly under Genesis. Under the orders of Captain Scott, served with distinction and the and devotion to the Minister Republic, will be remembered for his honor and pride. All right, sorry. Hiccups. Okay, now that's okay. I don't know where that. Probably not. From their little thing, which they seem to keep the key mailer, by the way. Like this. But yeah, I remember. I mean, this is probably going to be a roguelike. I'm pretty sure it's a roguelike. I don't know if it's a roguelike. Let me check. Let me check. They didn't expressly mention it's gonna be a roguelike, so it might be a roguelike, which would incre which would add challenge rare, by the way, which would add challenge to roguelike situation. But they got roguelikes have always had this. Literally since the first game, really since the first, literally since the first roguelike rogue, they had potions, which you didn't know what they did until you tasted them. So having uh, so having sandwich pods is actually following your lineage. It's a good thing. And, can, and, they're, and they're fun. Who doesn't like a good loot crate? Excited when it gives you something which is overpowered. Cloaking generator, normal quality. An advanced optical cloaking system that makes our ship more difficult to detect. Although the enemy ships can still locate a position by radar, it'll be more difficult to reach. Okay. A cloak that cloaks on visual but not radar. Interesting. Where should I put it? Nuclear missile launcher. High plasma. High plasma. Right there. Yeah. Wait. You. Okay, never mind. Advances. Okay, and then they all add things to the ship. Oh, only when they okay, only when they have attributes they do. 